Tifa as of right now, she I, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to convince people to invest time into her. I don't doubt she can be a beast, but like Somersault really does uh, turn a lot of people off. But let me show you guys real quick. So Somersault does 300 and well, it does low percentage damage, right? Because it does a lot of debuffs on enemies and it's charging really fast 800 charge speed so you'll, you'll get this two and a half times before your other teammates will get theirs at 1800 she deals low damage but lowers that damage targets defense for physical and she lowers that damage target magic defense as well it's actually really good so ideally what you'd want to do is use hers first and then have your teammates do their limit breaks after her to maximize the damage we could probably go test this out real quick and it lasts 17 seconds for each one so it actually has a lot of utility water kick does the same amount of damage as cross slash so water kick does like the, the 1000 percent and then as you level it up it'll keep on going up so what you guys should do i don't know why this isn't on by default but go into your everybody should do this go into your menu here go into your settings go into battle and turn on display buffs and debuff icons and it lets you see the uh buff and debuff icons in battle let's do a fun little test go back to party we'll create a party for with tifa and cloud and all of them so we're gonna see if tifa has somersault and she debuffs the enemies then cloud and barrett use their limit breaks to deal damage will she deal uh will the max damage be like worth it like that good okay so we're gonna somersault with Tifa and then this. And let's let's keep track of the damage. So Tifa's gonna debuff him. See now physical defense, magic defense down. Damn, 8,000. 20k. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn! That is actually a lot. So holy shit. Let's run that back. And we'll put water kick on her. All right, cool. So we're gonna do it the same way. Remember, she did 20k. We'll see. I'll see. I'll check and see exactly how much she did. So now, let's see with water kick. What does the party do? She did 3,516. Yeah. So somersault actually did more damage. Somersault did almost 1,500. It was like 19,000. Was it? So 19,151. So about 1100 damage difference against a lower enemy, but forget the fact that we got Somersault from her from the jump much, much earlier. So we could have used Somersault two or three times before the end of that boss fight by the time Cloud and Barrett got there. So thank you guys for uh, the numbers. So we could have used Somersault twice in that fight, gotten more overall damage from the 17 second debuff and damaging it over that time versus uh her having water kick that's why somersault is the way that it is now somebody asked earlier um it does like less damage why and we were just showing them like it debuffs enemies and it's pretty powerful especially if you're, like you're using tifa as like a healer i guess is what some builds are trying to do and then having her debuff enemies with the limit break so that you can deal overall more damage as a party so that's pretty good feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our live streams we go live a lot uh we are going to be going live a lot for this game and i'm looking forward to playing it as much as i can with all of you guys now you know what's even crazier right and this was my shit in the beta i haven't gotten it yet now that i think about it but tifa's chi trap also debuffs enemies so kaiser knuckles has chi trap and chi trap is single target but it decreases the magic defense of the enemy so tifa has a lot of builds catered around debuffing the enemy which is kind of interesting so i wonder what yuffie's gonna be like like if yuffie as a ninja will have like some like similar stuff and what what exactly they'll do yes and it debuffs both defense and magical defense so it's all around better like everybody can benefit off of it